Novel Crafter is shaping up to be one of the best and most important tools for writing fiction using AI. And here are five tips to get the most out of Novel Crafter when you are just starting out. Let's dive in. All right, the first thing you should know as of this recording and when this goes out, Novel Crafter is in open beta and it is currently free while in open beta. These are the prices that it will eventually start at. But I recently spoke with the developer and found out that this beta will only continue through the end of the year, meaning that in January of 2024, you will get a 14 day free trial. So you can still try it out for free if you're unsure about whether you want to use it or not, after which it will cost whatever it is that you selected here uh, for your main tier. So if you want to get in on the free beta, better do that now because you're not going to have too much time until your 14 day free trial starts at the beginning of the year. The second and perhaps the most important thing that we're going to talk about today are API keys. All right. You need to have API keys to make Novel Crafter work. The reason that Novel Crafter is able to run at these ridiculously low prices, you know, $4 a month for the bottom tier, which is actually only $40 a year annually. The reason it's able to operate at those low prices is because Novel Crafter does not generate the AI words for you. It has you hook up the software to Open Router or OpenAI's Playground. Those are the two APIs you are going to use, meaning you will be billed through OpenAI and Open Router for the AI words that you generate. Thankfully, this is not a very expensive thing. It's usually just a couple of cents here. The only way you're going to be really increasing the pricing on your API expenses is if you're doing a lot of like analyzing whole books in one go. But chances are you'd have to write a ton or be analyzing, like I said, analyzing whole books over and over and over again to really increase that price more than a couple of dollars a month for sure. So this will almost certainly, especially if you're using this lowest tier here or even the tinkerer here, this will almost certainly be cheaper than programs like Sudorite uh, unless you are really, really pushing the AI to the, the absolute limits and generating a ton of stuff. Now to get your AI APIs, there are two places that you can go. The first one is OpenAI and the second one is Open Router. Let's look at both. With OpenAI, you can come to this place called the OpenAI Playground. It's at platform.openai.com slash playground. And then here on the left hand side, you will see a menu. And this is the one you want that says API keys. If you come to API keys, you can select this button that says create a new secret key, name it, and it'll create a key for you. Make sure that you mark down that key in a secure place. Because once you have generated here, you know, see, I've got a couple of keys that I've generated. You will not be able to get those exact keys again, which means if you lose this one and you need to get it again, you're going to have to generate a new one. So make sure to create a new key and do that here. Once you have set this up, you will also need to sell up your billing, which you can do here. And as you can see, I've been using this pretty heavily. And in December, that's been the most I've ever spent through the OpenAI Playground. And it's $3.36. And most of that has been through Novel Crafter. So it really isn't a whole lot that you're using. And this is pay as you go. So the more you use it, the more you will get billed. But like I said, it's very inexpensive. In fact, this is probably the least expensive way to use the AI is to use it directly through OpenAI's platform. Once you have your API key and everything set with your billing and everything, you take that API key, you go into Novel Crafter, and Novel Crafter makes it really easy. So from the home page, once you're logged into Novel Crafter, you go up here to your account and you select open settings. And from here, you can see I've connected Open Router already, but I haven't connected the Open AI. So all I have to do is go here and say add. It adds it right here. I can ask it to show. And then from here, I can paste that API key into this space. And then you don't have to select these because those are optional. And then select hide and you're done. Now that's for OpenAI. And the reason we use OpenAI's API key is because that is going to be the cheapest way to access 
the OpenAI models, so your GPT 3.5, GPT 4, GPT 4 Turbo, all would be accessed through here. But there is also a service called Open Router, which I've talked a couple of times about Open Router on this channel. What Open Router does is it gives us access to pretty much all of the other models. So from here, what we want to do. So once you've created your login and you've created an account with Open Router, you come over here to account and then hit keys. And then just like we did with the OpenAI, you select your Novel Crafter key or you create a Novel Crafter key by just hitting this button, create key. You name your key. And then from here, you take the key that it gives you, log into the same place here, and it will give you this option here to connect Open Router. Once you have all of those API keys set up, you will now have access to all of the different models. So now if we come in here and we want to generate some pros, if we say generate pros, we now have access to all of the different models in there. All right, the third thing that we're going to talk about is how to actually set up your book so that you can actually get started writing. Keep in mind that while Novel Crafter is built to work seamlessly with AI, it is not actually an AI only software. This could be just a regular writing software if you want it to be. So to do this, we're going to get started by selecting create a novel here in our dashboard. And I'm going to create a novel called Fall of the Fairy, which is the fifth book in my Fairy Queen series, which I'm going to be working on next. And I plan on writing here in Novel Crafter. I'll use my own name. And then this will go into a series. We'll create a new series called The Fairy Queen. And this will be listed as book five. And from there we create a novel. And we have nothing here yet, and that is okay. We don't necessarily need to do anything at this point, but I will give you a brief overview of what this looks like. First, we have the plan tab. These are the four tabs you want to be paying attention to. Plan is where you create your outline. So you can create from a template. So for instance, if we go here to create an outline, there are a number of templates down here. As is no surprise to anybody, my favorite right now is Derek Murphy's 24 chapters, which is this one right here. So I could easily just put this here and it gives us a template to follow and then hit create. And now you have all of your cards ready to start creating here. But we're not going to talk too much about how to actually create your outline too much. But this is where you do it in the plan tab. You can also visualize these different. Right now it's in a grid mode, but you can also look at it in a matrix model or as a outline where it goes just one, two, you know, all together like this. Uh, the review tab is where you can review various stats and everything. And we're not going to talk about this one too much either because you need to have some substance to your novel before you're ready. And I obviously don't yet. So just don't even worry about that one right now. Tinker, I will talk about in a later tip. And what we're going to do now is talk about number four in my list of tips, which is how to actually start writing. You don't necessarily have to have anything in the plan, anything in the codex over here, which is a total another video entirely. So we're going to skip that for now. You don't need to have any of that done yet. You don't even have to have your API keys hooked up yet, uh, unless you want to write with AI, of course. Uh, all you can do, you can just come straight here and start writing. Okay. It is set up to work with both outliners and pantsers. Anyone who, if you just want to start writing and you don't really know how it starts or where it's going to go, that's fine. Just do that. And if you do want to outline, you just go to the plan and work on the outline there and then come back to write and start writing here. So if you do want to write with AI, how do you do that? Well, the best way to start is to do a slash command. You just hit forward slash and it will come up with a couple of different things here that you can do. The one most of you will probably be doing with the AI is this, create a scene beat. So if we come to the scene beat and select that, it now gives us a space to write this scene beat. All right, so we're going to just give something really gener generic right now and say Cinderella runs from the ball and forgets her slipper. Once you have your beat down, you hit generate prose. 
and it gives you access to all of the different models that you can work with. The ones that I typically recommend for finished pros are Claude 2, but GPT-4 Turbo is okay as well. Uh, and if you're writing not safe for work content, the ones I would recommend you play around with are the Mistral options right here, as well as Toppy, which is currently free while it is in beta. So it will actually cost you nothing to generate words with Toppy, as well as Mancer Weaver also tends to be pretty good. But it, feel free to experiment with all of these different models that you have access to because those are all very useful. But I find Claude 2 to be the best, so I'm going to select Claude 2. And then you just hit apply after it has generated all of the pros. You could also retry or discard if you just don't like it. And voila, we have a lot of finished pros here. Once this is finished, you just hit apply and you can now edit this to your heart's content. For instance, we have this little section here where it says here is a 250,000 character continuation of the story based on that scene beat. Cinderella runs from the ball and forgets her slipper. So all of that is stuff we don't need. It's not actually part of the story. So we just hit back and you just go through and start editing this to how you want it. The great thing about this is after you have edited this, edited this down, to something a little bit more quality. So let's let's say that what you get out of this is, is good, but you wanna make it better. So you make it better, and then you move on to the next scene beat. The next scene beat will be looking at what you've written before and will be mimicking your style a lot better, which means that as you go through and you continuously edit, each story beat that you generate will be better than the last because you are going off of improved pros and it will be able to continue in that style. So this is something that's really cool and a really great way to generate your pros. All right, the next tip that I wanna to talk to you about is Tinker. Now, we're only gonna to briefly touch on Tinker right now. There is a lot more to this software than what I'm covering today, and we haven't even touched on the codex, which will be an entirely an entire video on its own. But I really wanted to talk about Tinker because Tinker is unique. On the surface, this looks like a regular chat bot. OK, so we could come in here and just say, give me five story ideas for a novel and hit send and it will access the API and give me five story ideas. But what makes this unique? instead of just a generic plot is that we can give this context and already it's actually had some context here because it's talking about the fairy queen it knows that the title of this story is fall of the fairy and the series title is the fairy queen now if you don't want it to have any of that context you can edit that down but here at the bottom you click on context and you can actually select you know, maybe you give it access to a specific scene and you want to chat about that scene. So if you've written out the scene in your plan section, you're able to come in here and select that scene and then chat with it, talk about it, brainstorm about it, expand it, whatever you want to do. You can also select the full novel outline and then use this chat interface to talk about that. If you, on the left-hand side, if you look over here where the codex is, you can come over here to chats and it will have all of your chats located right here. So you can find them and uh, play with them around if you need to. Additionally, you can also include the context of your entire novel that you've written so far. Now this can only be done with certain models, the ones that can handle the large context. And that will cost you a lot more money from the APIs and all of those calls that you'll be doing. Uh, but it is possible you can do it here. And that is one of the great things about Tinker is that it's it's a chat bot that's really geared specifically for authors by baking in all of these features that let you easily interact with your novel in various ways. So that, that is my fifth and last tip for those of you who are getting started with Novel Crafter. Don't worry too much about all of the crazy different features. The only one I would really make sure you get right is getting your API keys and everything set up because once you do that, everything else will go a lot smoother. You can have a lot more fun experimenting with it. Uh, but this has been my five tips. I hope this was useful to you and I will see you in the next video.